What's up guys, it's Blue Moon Guy back with Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door Let's Play. In the last part, we just got off a boat, and now we're gonna head up over here and see what's going on. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well now, I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise, but, but, <laughs> boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crumb, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Well, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna talk to this person. Huff, hoof, har, har, huff. Out of the way, you scallywag. Move your ever loving bones. How rude. I'm just gonna make my way. What the? Like I go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. <laughs> Not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? What? Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumper bomb. What? Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Okay. Well, like she said, it's battle time. We got jump, hammer, items. Well, we don't have any items. We can't select it. And we have a new action, which is defend, which you couldn't do in the last Paper Mario. So it's actually pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on him. I'm gonna jump on him because my original name is Jump Man. Sweet, you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Oh no! Sit on you, block. Yeah. Okay, now it's hammer time. Then, done, done. Bing, bam. You got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Oh no! Sit on you. Hmm, what do I do now? Now I'll just jump on him. Bam, bam, yeah. And now he's dead. He will sit on me no more. You did it, you did it, yes, and you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points total, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Win! Nine star points. Nice. Buh, 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 <laughs> Okay, you got a couple of decent shots, and I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Whoa. Punish him! No! I don't want to be punished! They're all gonna sit on me! No! They have bad hit detection. Quick, this way! Phew, what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. Okay, what do you say? <sighs> Let me just sneak out of here then. While they sit on whatever's not gonna be me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over here quietly and. Yeah! But, huh? Stop! Hmm. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? I guess they're all lost. Uh, crud, they bolted. What will you do now, Lord Crump? Forever alone? He needs a hobby. Wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. Ooh, nice. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Hi, I mean, my name is Mario. Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Uh-huh. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know this place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't for some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 Bucko, what you got there? A map. Oh my gosh, is, isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you've got that. Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Gang violence in the background! Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? <laughs> The boy sends his greetings. How'd that road taste, punk? Are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. Yeah. 
So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bug? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye for one moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I assume she'd be back momentarily, but at this point I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at loss what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But you but I know my place, Mario, and this is not it. I leave the task to you. I believe I'll recline at the inn over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP hard points running low, so drop on in. Haha. <laughs> yes, well anyway, rest a little and we'll fill all your HP. I must say though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Hoof, I say. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean like Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec. This is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. That's what she said. Well, where could you she gone, don't you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know Mario. Come with me. That's what she said. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Mm -hmm. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party. Goombella is similar to Goomberia from the first Paper Mario. Goombella's abilities. Primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Robert Plaza. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroad where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goomther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when somebody's nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? And there he leaves. Goombella can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air and attacks some enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP weaknesses with her Tattle ability. Tattle's gonna be used a lot throughout this game, just, just to warn you. First off, we gotta go find my professor. The thing is, since I just got to tell myself, um, I don't know actually where he lives, so keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Franksy looks like. A very old, Einstein-looking Goomba. Well, anyway, first of all, I'm gonna save... That way we don't lose all this progress we got so far. Okay, now we're going to go over here, all the way to this little corner. And right off the bat, we get our first star piece. Now, star pieces are all over this game, and they're really helpful so we can get badges. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to... Right now we're in an inn. Well, it's a different inn because there's a bar on the bottom floor. And up here is where people can actually sleep and heal up. And over here... It's a building. Open at 11 a.m. today. Probably mean by the GameCube clock. And right over here, we got another star piece. Yeah, I'll definitely keep counting these so then no one gets lost. Because it's not only a walkthrough, it's also a let. I mean, it's a basically a complete this game 100% so then you don't have to do anything else in this game except maybe explore or just do whatever you want. And I didn't really feel like reading that guy's text because he has nothing important to say. And right here is another star piece. Located in this very nasty and contaminated shack. Yeah. I don't know if star pieces are like literally from stars or some dude just ran around just hiding them in different places, but eh, whatever. Over here we got the newsstand, which updates you on the news that everyone else knows. And behind it is the graffiti corner, which is mostly underground news, like some stuff that gives you hints sometimes. And here is the shop, which is indicated by the fire flower. And there's this guy welcoming us. And the shop owner. Hey there, fella. Welcome. Is this your first time in our shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one point for each purchase they make. You with me so far? Save up enough shop points and you can get prizes, including some rare items. You'll find a list of our prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, wouldn't you say, fella? Need me to explain it again? Nah, I'm good. Well, take your time and enjoy shopping, fella. He really likes saying fella a lot, doesn't he? No. I only took my eye for one moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I assume she'd be back momentarily, but at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. 
I've been at loss what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Well, this creepy old lady, I'm just gonna move over. Oops. Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? What'd I do? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Nah. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. And she literally does block the west gate. This old lady! Durr. Old ladies ruining everything. Well, in order to get a new contact lens, you have to talk to this guy. He'll welcome you again. And you talk to him secretly, huh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait a moment. Then, basically, after a certain amount of time you come back, uh, the contact lens will be in the store. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? And by that, they mean keep playing the game, and eventually we'll just tell you. And we gotta go to the other side of the town. The right one. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. What? Are you serious? That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. Man, I hate this town too. Some random people bumping into you, losing coins, old lady blocking the freaking entrance. Man, I would hate to live in this town. You got thieves and mean old ladies and all this stuff. Whatever. Aside from all the hatred, the guy who stole your coins is here. Oops. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Better give me my coins back. Sheesh. A hundred coins? I need that. Coins in this game are really important. They're gonna be used to buy badges, buy food, buy items. Basically, anything you need, you're gonna need some coins. So, I'm gonna go over here, in this secret alleyway. And I'm gonna talk to this little guy over here. Hey, my name's Darkly. I like dim places. And now I'm done talking for now. What a personality. Anyway, this is another star piece in this little corner. And Darkly's just gonna be emo and stand in that little corner, but whatever. He, can, he, do, he does what he wants. And in here, we meet the professor. Oh, hi. There you are. Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes. You. Now, you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right. Um, it's not Gumbriel. Er, it's not Elizagoon. Hmm. Um. Aha, I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at Goom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Win! Who? Ugh. Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogue Boy. I thought if anyone knew about it, it would be you, Professor, frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study the very sub. But why do you text want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to research for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously impossible to divine the truth among them. 
but all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars that that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of lore I've read says that the magical map is taken down to the doorway. Then it'll show you where you find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposed to be there, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? I'm not gonna read that gibberish he's sprouting. Really? You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Here. Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, even! With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding a lot before the legendary door. Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing sitting here then? Goombella, Mario! Off we must go this instant! Let's take the magical map to the legendary door! Professor frankly seems very excited. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You do know how to about your actual crayons, don't you? No. Well, for the tutorial's sake. Actually, we're going to stop the video right here. So, because we're running out of time. So, next time on the Pit Mario Thousand Year Door Let's Play, we're going to be taking on some tutorials. Later.